everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a lipstick swatches and it will be on the 3CE Moods Recipe lipsticks. I finally got my hands on them and I cannot wait to film this and I'm finally filming this now for you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the swatches first and then we'll talk more about it later on. As you can see from all the swatches, you guys can tell what the colours are. So they are mainly warm brownie shades or dusty rose shades. So it goes along that kind of colour. And I'm really happy with this one because it is not often that you would find this kind of shades in the Korean beauty market or industry. So when I found out that 3CE were releasing these five colours, I was like, I need to get them because I love nudie, brownie, dusty, rosy shades. Yeah, so I obsessed with those colors and I'm so happy and these are actually matte lipsticks So surprisingly it actually goes on really well on my dry lips I have really dry chappy lips and I did exfoliate before I did the swatches and you can tell from the lips um, From the swatches it's actually pretty easy for me to apply onto my lips one thing I do notice is that I would prefer using a lip liner underneath before I apply the lipstick on just because I feel like it doesn't fill the gap in the inner part of the lips especially the really dark shape I think the 117 cheek full so it's like the purplish reddish shade so that one was pretty hard to apply because it's really obvious that I didn't apply much on the inner part of my lips but this is how my lips are so I would prefer using a lip liner and I think a couple of days ago I actually did use one of this lipstick and I went out with it and I did use a lip liner before applying this and it went on so nicely so I mean it does go on really nice like you know one like two glides and it just goes on to your lips but I do prefer putting on lip liner in regards of all these lipsticks they are really true to color so what for me like all of this color really looks like how the packaging looks like on my lips but I did read some blogs and people who have really fair skin apparently it will look more orangey brownie for some of the shades so do check those out if you guys want to see if you guys have fair skin but for my skin tone they are really really true to color and oh my gosh you guys i'm just so happy with this 
finally Korean makeup have nudie shades finally but um regarding the price it's about 19 dollars for one so it is a bit on the pricey side but it is 3c and i mean they are more on the high-end side of the beauty beauty korean beauty so yeah so 19 dollars but i mean it only comes in five shades so yeah so i'm sure you guys would have a shade that you would like doesn't feel drying on the lips at all if you have dry lips it actually feels really I wouldn't say moisturizing but it feels comfortable enough for you to wear it for a long time i did wear this out like i said before and it did last me for quite a while especially i had you know food and drinks and stuff and it did it is pretty long lasting and one thing i like about this one as well is that it doesn't go into your fine lines you know how some matte lipsticks when you apply it goes into all your fine lines and it make it all really visible this one doesn't which is great like really great and i'm sure if you put lip liner on it will be much better and i guess a little tip for you guys who have maybe dry lips and don't like matte lipstick i like to put lip balm before i apply my lip liner or my lipstick but with this one i didn't even put any lip balm and it feels really comfortable on the lips so i'm not too worried about this i do have a lot of matte lipsticks and i did have to put lip balm on before i applied those because it just feels really dry in the end but this one feels really really comfortable so i'm happy that i paid 19 dollars each for this one because it is definitely worth, worth it and seriously the packaging what can i say and the packaging is very interesting i can't explain the um the texture it's like it is plastic but it feels like a bit like velvety at the same time it's so hard to explain the texture maybe it's just in my mind but like i feel like the the it's very different from the rest of their lipsticks that look like that so yeah i feel like this one gives like more of like a matte look to it i guess i would definitely give this a 5 out of 5 just because you don't find this kind of colors yet in the korean makeup industry i mean like maybe a couple or so but other than that yeah the price wise i mean if you guys can afford it i wouldn't say it's that pricey considering that it is pretty comfortable on the lips even though it's a matte lipstick and it gives you what you want it is super pigmented and just a little tip just apply lip liner under your lipstick and you'll be all good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this lipstick swatches please thumbs up subscribe if you want to see me do more lipstick swatches i have one more coming up before i go for my holiday so i'll be taking a little little bit of a break for my lipstick swatches but i will have plenty more to come later on in the future so yep i'll see you guys next time bye